بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته عرف مؤسدة قريشي مريم لمقياس اللغة الإنجليزية سنة الثالثة لسانس أجي وأو أم بي درس رابع بنهار اليوم هو ماركتين سو ماركتين ماركتين or let's dig deeper into this word so to, f to develop the mechanics of supply and demand we must narrow our vision to study how a single market works in each market buyers and sellers are guided by the price system in their buying and selling decisions the actual form of particular market tips depends on the type of good or service being sold and the costs of transporting the good from the point of production to the point of sale. Some markets are local, bringing together local buyers and sellers. Others are national, bringing together the buyers and sellers in all parts of the nation. Others are international, bringing together the buyers and sellers in all parts of the world. Real estate is traded in the local market houses and buildings cannot be shipped from one place to another except at a great expense college textbooks are usually exchanged in the national market the new york stock exchange the various gold exchanges and the chicago commodity exchange for instance are markets in which buyers and sellers from around the world participate Estate means property owned by a particular person, family, or organization. Means okay. Then, the study of marketing arrangement is a subject area in which economics and business administration overlap. Both disciplines. Yeah, both disciplines. Presume. Yeah, both discipline presume the markets develop in an orderly fashion and teach that the market's form that eventually evolves may be the one that keeps the cost of delivery or marketing cost to a minimum. Thus, buying, selling, market research, transportation, storage, advertising, these are all parts of the complex area of business known as marketing. In simple terms, marketing means the movement of goods and services from manufacturers to the customer in order to satisfy the customer and to achieve the company objectives. Marketing can be divided into four main elements that are popularly known as four P's, which are product, price, placement, and promotion. So first of all, The product element of marketing refers to the good or service that the company wants to sell. This often involves research and development R and D of a new product, research of the potential market, testing of the product to ensure quality and then the introduction to the market. A company next considers the price to charge for its product. There are three pricing options the company may take, above, with, or below the prices that its competitors are charging. For example, if the average price of a pair of women's leather shoes is 3,000 dinars, or we can say $27, a company that charges 2,000 dinars has prices below the market. A company that charges 3,000 dinars has prices with the market, and the company that charges 4,000 dinars has prices above the market. Most companies have prices with the market and sell their goods and services for average prices established by major producers in the, in the industry. The producers who establish these prices are known as price leaders. 
So the meaning of leather means a material made from the skin of an animal. Then next, the third element of the marketing process is placement. Placement involves getting the product to the consumer. This takes place through the, cha through the channels of distribution. A common channel of distribution is manufacturer, manufacturer, sorry, wholesaler, retailer, and processor. Wholesalers generally sell large quantities of a product to re retailers, and retail and re retailers, sorry, usually sell smaller quantities to customers. Finally can say communication about the product takes place between buyer and seller. This communication between buyer and seller is known as promotion. There are two major ways promotion occurs through personal selling as in a department store and through advertising as in a newspaper and magazine. The four elements of marketing which are product price placement and promotion work together to develop a successful marketing operation that satisfies customers and achieves the company objectives. So finally, as a language practice for you today, as uh, an exercise for you to do, I have questions to be answered. First of all, what does the concept of market mean? What are different forms of the market? And what is marketing? Please write down your own definition of it. Then the second activity is please find the equivalent to price, tra trade, market, invest, buyer, and commodity. On the other side, we have a place where people buy and sell goods. An article of trade to put money to a particular use, a person who buys, an amount of money for which a thing is sold, and finally, to buy and sell goods. That's all for today. Thank you.